Hello viewers I am privileged to introduce myself as Muhammad Fahad from Vagdevi Engineering College and in this video I am going to give the complete overview of my project on garbage classification Let's begin with the introduction with increase in usage of plastic materials and several companies producing their products by packaging them into the harmful materials like plastic paper tin etc this type of materials at last are getting a pile getting up into the pile of a garbage or dumping areas this kind of garbage need to be classified efficiently in order to recycle so to make the process of recycling more efficient we must be having a efficient garbage classification process so in this project we will be going to develop a deep learning model in order to detect and classify objects based on its parameters and its features attributes by getting the image of the product or image of the garbage as an input to the ui so let's get an overview of this project in this project we will be knowing fundamental concepts and techniques of artificial neural networks and convolutional neural networks will be gaining a broad understanding of image data and will be working with sequential type of modeling keras image and many flash flash frameworks the purpose of this project is very simple that is we need to build a machine intelligent machine which will be replacing human working in dumping yards by saving humans life as human working in dumping yards are exposed to harmful and toxic environment which is not at all acceptable by a human's health in order to save people working in dumping yard and make the process of garbage classification more efficient we have come up with an we came up with a model of intelligent web application where we give the image as an input to the interface where interface works in the back end and provides us with the results whether the image object present within the image is a plastic or a glass or a paper or any other type of garbage material the problem that is existing right now is a huge amount of garbage generation with increase in world's population we have several companies and several industries which generate lot of plastic glass tin and metal paper in the process of packaging their products after people consuming these products they throw the packaged materials like plastic and any other things into the garbage now that we have got lot of garbage we need to classify it efficiently and this is the problem existing problem solutions right now are people working in government uh, areas government dumping yards are get, are being provided with jackets mask and a pair of gloves which is acceptable to some extent and can be saved can be more good people working without that but we can't say that the human is completely safe by using this kind of materials like mask jacket and pair of gloves the environment that the people working are in which it is a very harmful and to toxic environment so what kind of solution we are proposing is we are aiming to design a intelligent human like machine which is capable of classifying garbage based on its previous training given by using multiple images of distinct garbage materials the sentence in this says that different garbage material images are being provided to the machine during the training process so that machine is capable of classifying the type of garbage based on its experiences in the training so traditional method was a man used to hand pick a product uh, garbage and uh, classify it as plastic glass metal paper etc but now machines have taken all areas of work where they work efficiently compared to human let's understand the block diagram of our project that is in this project we will be giving raw garbage data like images of garbage where the features of that image or the garbage are extracted and some parameters are formed 
now the we select appropriate algorithm which classifies garbage then this algorithm uses the parameters which were extracted previously in order to check whether these parameters are fit to the parameters given as input to the image now the object is detected and the prediction of object is done if the project prediction done is successful then the object is detected and classified into the respective block of uh, dumping next we have the project flow in this as we as i have said we need to give image as an input to the ui ui then works in the back end and gives us the output as whether it belongs to a plastic glass or any other thing in this process we have data collection that is images and then we have pro pre processing where we process the image and extract its features and then we have model building and application building we have some hardware or software designing requirements like anaconda navigator which will which we need in our local systems to be installed anaconda navigator which is an ide then we have to install a few packages like tensorflow keras flask we also need to install few python packages which are really helpful in project building model building that is numpy pandas scikit tensorflow keras and flask in this we have a flow chart to understand here the data is given as input into the data pre processing then the data process pre processing is done after the processing after we process the images that is data is our images so images are processed then we train the machine with an appropriate algorithm and evaluate it if the result of the evaluation is successful then the training is successful then we use test data and test the machine that is we evaluate again by providing test data this test data is again evaluated and if the results are positive that is if it is successful then we build a model based upon this Uh, combination of algorithms so then at final we integrate this model into a web application which has a ui where user can directly input image and machine then classifies it as a plastic glass paper metal cardboard etc as an output then these are the results that we got in our project we will be seeing whole process uh, in upcoming minutes where we have home page about page contact details information and we have complete setup here advantages are human involvement is reduced in garbage classification where human is not exposed to the toxic environment whereas a machine works in that environment and classifies the object which is not at all harmful then we have time taken in classification human working in a such a big dump yard takes lot of time to classify the project uh, product so whereas if we replace it with a machine machine does the same task but in a very quick time then we have efficiency the machine compared to a human is lot more efficient as it takes decisions quickly based upon the parameters then we have garbage being placed in dumping yards if we integrate the model that we built into vehicles that come at our home and collect garbage then the garbage classification is done within the vehicle itself we don't need a span of land where we again dump this garbage materials and again we classify if this model is directly integrated into the vehicles that come at our home then it is lot more simple and more classified we have some disadvantages as people working in the dumping yards lose their job they are being paid high salaries because their health is damaged there so people working in dump yards with high salaries will lose their job when this model comes into the picture then if any error during the classification process then the result that is the result generated will be inconsistent we also need to maintain this software continuously because it may come up with bugs over the long run then the process is uh, very expensive as we have several machine related hardware and software requirements so this becomes a bit expensive what kind of applications can we do with this model 
with the help of this model or project we can implement this kind of things into the dumping yards and we can integrate this into the vehicles and we also can implement into the malls and markets where garbage is thrown so whenever people in the market or malls throw the garbage it must be quickly classified and stored its in its respective blocks so that the classification process is more efficient and optimized we can apply this model wherever the garbage is present so that there is no risk of mixing all garbage at one place and again classifying then we can uh, at last i would like to conclude by saying that human life can't be in replaced but a machine can be replaced human life is more precious and people working in dump yard are being paid high salaries so that they work in the toxic environment and get money but uh, when a machine is being placed in that area the work is also efficient and the life of a human is also saved so this is what i would like to conclude at last now let us see few reference uh, future scope and references the future scope is uh, when we implement this model obviously a human life is saved and also the work is more efficient and fast when compared to a human working in a dumping yard these are the references of what all we used in our project now let us see our project we here have a jupiter notebook where we have written a code for to in order to build a model model so we have Im Im imported image data generator from tensorflow and uh, we also have trained the machine that is we have provided trained data training data set to the machine whose path is mentioned here this is the path this training data set is given and uh, machine is trained based upon this training data set and again the testing data set is also provided where machine is tested we have then imported several features of tensorflow like sequential dense convolution max pooling flatten and adam in order to get the summary we have used the model that summary function here and we have added the la first hidden layer and so on later on we saved the garbage that is garbage1.h5 named file which is a model file we get that file here we will download this file and implement this file in the spider with our own our environment so this is our garbage classification file where we have garbage1.h5 stored in models file which we built using jupyter notebook now we are on, we the most crucial part of this is app.py file which is the quintessential part of our program where we have used imported several features of tensorflow keras and many other things we have provided the path to load the model, model of our project here and we also have html files where we have de designed our web page we have provided problem and solution in the web page and the contact information is also provided now if we run the, this app.py file we'll be getting a url where we can copy this url and paste in the local browser in order to get the output let us see how this model is working when we paste this output into a browser we'll get an web page like this garbage classification which was designed by us here we have about project where we define the problem and also solution we have contact details now let's begin with image prediction that is here here we need to choose an image in order to classify so let's choose an image of a glass and check whether it classified it is as a glass or not so we have got the result here that is the predicted garbage is glass in this way the machine classifies garbage depending upon its training and also the attributes and parameters of the object present within the image is also uh, being considered by the machine in this way the garbage is classified efficiently and the humans are uh, need not to involve in this process as well if we integrate these kind of uh, models into the dumping yards and uh, into the garbage areas as well as and in, into the 
garbage vehicles that pick up garbage early morning at our homes if we integrate this kind of model then the classification process becomes more simple this is all about our project thank you for providing me with this opportunity